Les Miserables doesn't need a lot of introduction, but I was really excited about the fact that we were allowed to be the very first professional company to do a production of Les Mis in Wisconsin. Um, because of the nature of the show and the popularity of it, it was one of those shows that was very difficult to get the rights to, and the minute they called us and said it was available, we jumped on the opportunity. The show doesn't need a lot of introduction, but I am really excited by our collaboration with Molly Rohde. Most of you will remember Molly from her directing um, The Sound of Music last season, and I was so impressed with what I saw in that show that I thought, you know, if anyone could handle the forces required in Les Mis, it would be her. And she's brought incredible ideas to the table. And what you'll see is a very theatrical representation of the show. Um, for those of you who are used to the big Broadway productions, what you'll have at the Skylight is a much more intimate and actor-driven um, take on the show. And what I mean by that is because the Skylight and the Cabot Theater offer such a unique perspective, in other words, you can see every single person's faces um, from anywhere in the hall, you actually get to experience the show as if you were on stage, which you don't often get the opportunity to in a big Broadway in a big uh, uh, I grew up here, went away to school for a little while, and then moved back. And I'm very proud to make my artistic living here in Wisconsin and um, adore this community. Found a lot of opportunity here. I worked for the Skylight for the first time in 2001 as a, an actor and have performed here uh, several times. Um, and last season directed The Sound of Music. The Skylight has this wonderful energy about it. I, I love to work here because there's this in, intense passion always, but also a very incredible sense of play, and that makes for a really invigorating, exciting work environment. It's a great place to be. What excites me most about Les Mis is the music. The music is just very, very special, and I think it is also what makes this play a very important piece of theater. There's a reason that Les Mis has been chugging around for about 30 years, productions all over the world during that time, and um, only continues to grow in momentum and popularity, and that's all about the music. The score is just transporting, I think. Mm -hmm. It affects people on a deeply emotional level in ways that some musicals don't. Uh, these songs really latch on, dig into you, and they really stay with you. The Les Mis is, is a show that is told on a really grand scale. It has sort of an epic quality to it, but at the same time, it has some very, very intimate private moments, duets, soliloquies. And the Cabot Theater is an extraordinary place for intimacy. So I'm very excited to be able to bring something that is so big but has such intimacy into a space that can actually achieve both of those things for the audience so wonderfully. Um, I also plan to stage this in a very highly theatrical way. This show being so big with so many locations, it's just next to impossible to do all of those environments in a, in a literal, realistic way. We leave that to cinema. Um, what I want to do is employ uh, methods of storytelling that can only be accomplished in the theater. All the lead characters in this in this show are intensely passionate, and they all are fighting for something that they believe very strongly, uh, or people they care for very deeply. Whether we think of them as heroes or villains, they're intensely passionate, and um, the stakes are life and death all the way through. And such high stakes bring out the best and the worst in the characters, respectively. Um, when the stakes are so high, we, are, we end up privy to seeing how they deal with these circumstances, which are desperate circumstances. And the choices they make are sometimes the most selfish and at other times the most gracious and the most giving. How the characters cope with these circumstances, the divergent way in which they do it, the diverse way, is what I find really compelling. There are so many options out there, and we see many, many options through the course of the show. The historical backdrop for this show is the Paris Uprising of 1832. So revolution is a very, very specific part of this story. And even beyond that, the entire story is couched in this context. It's about redemption. It's about second chances. It's about how we want to spend our time on this earth, what is worth fighting for, who we will fight for. It's a very epic tale, and it shows us the best and the worst of humanity. It demands that we look at how we treat our fellow man. 
this is going to be the first professional production of Les Miserables mounted here in Milwaukee. And an opportunity to see it, to hear it live in the intimacy of the Cabot Theater is simply an opportunity that is not to be missed. This is arguably the most famous musical of our generation. And I really encourage you to see what we do with this show.